Isn't it great, guys, that this is my second time, Dos, time recording this video? <laughs> because before I had a whole bunch of lipstick all on my tea. And <sighs> Hi guys, I'm here to do another product empties video. So let's just get right into it. First I have my Trader Joe's Sea Salt. Mm. I know you guys are probably wondering, uh, what is she doing with sea salt? But I do use this for exfoliating my face. I exfoliate my face every other day and I use sea salt. I have tried to use sugar and I find that this is more abrasive and I like the way this feels more than the sugar. And yes, I would repurchase this. I do love this. This is like $1.29 at Trader Joe's. And what I do for my exfoliant, I will use some sea salt and I will mix a blend of oils, whatever oils I have at hand, and then a little bit of honey and that's it. I will put it on my face, my lips, my hands, anywhere I want to exfoliate and this is a very great exfoliant. Would be purchased. Now I have my Thayer's, Thayer's, Thayer, Thayer, Thayer's, whatever it's called. It's their Lavender Witch Hazel with Aloe Vera and it's an alcohol free toner. I do love this toner. I started using toners maybe over a year ago. And and how I would use this is after I would cleanse my face, I would just get a cotton round and apply some of this on the cotton round and then apply it to my face and it cleans the extra dirt off your face and it also brings back the pH balance to your face. So I would repurchase this. The lavender definitely calmed my skin. So yeah, I would repurchase this. And I got this from Whole Foods. And this is about $10 a bottle. Next I have Neutrogena's Clear Pore Daily Scrub. And this is $10 as well. I did like this product. I would just use this as a daily facial cleanser. I would repurchase this. There's not really much to say. It cleans my skin. It doesn't leave my skin very dry. And I like that Next about I it. Next I have MAC's Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder. This is what the product looks like. It's just a clear loose powder. I did like this when it came to setting my face. It let my foundation last a very long time. I did like this, but I did find out when I was using it for under my eyes to set the concealer underneath, it would leave a white cast. So if I was to take a picture and the flash was on, it would leave a white cast underneath my eyes and I didn't like that. I want to try the press version of this to see if that happens to that powder but I don't know if there's SPF in this because I know SPF causes flashback but I wouldn't repurchase this but I did like it to set my whole face so I would repurchase it just for that. Next concept. I have my Maybelline the Falsies Volume Express Waterproof Mascara. This is what it looks like. This is the wand. It's kind of a medium sized wand and it is curved and I did like this mascara especially for my bottom lashes. It did nothing for my top lashes but I wouldn't repurchase it just because I am done using waterproof mascaras. I don't know if this mascara has a regular version of it instead of a waterproof. If so I would get it just for my bottom lashes but it really didn't do anything else. <laughs> you guys I am so sad that I'm done with this product. This is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And I have Cappuccino in 8 and Nut Brown C7. One's more of a warmer tone and one's more of a cool tone. And I absolutely love these foundations. I love these foundations. They're very liquidy, I would say that. They have about a medium to full coverage. It's very lightweight. It doesn't really feel like you have foundation on for an everyday face. This is my go-to foundation and I loved it for that. It definitely left me matte maybe for a couple hours, maybe six hours. After that, I would definitely have to blot because I do have oily skin, combination to oily skin. But I'm sad because I have to let these go, guys, because these would break my face out. And I didn't know what it was, but I finally found out that... This breaks my face out, so I can't use this. I have about half a bottle in each. I'm upset. 
terribly upset because I really love this foundation. I would recommend this foundation if you don't have like sensitive prone skin or I don't know if you're allergic to certain things, I wouldn't recommend it, but this is a great foundation from the drugstore. Very Look, cheap. I have another sad product. <gasps> so I'm absolutely upset and hurt, frustrated that this clear mascara is gone. I got this from a beauty supply store and it was only a dollar guys a dollar yep i said it one tala so this is a clear mascara it does have a medium sized wand i would say don't use this for my lashes i use this to set my brows and this will leave my brows super crunchy i love that crunchy feeling and I love that they're set in place and I'm good to go throughout the day. It lasts all day long. This would not budge. My eyebrows wouldn't budge at all. But I don't know if I can find this anymore. <laughs> I'm going to have to go to my local beauty supply store to see if I can find it again. But I will definitely repurchase this. If I find this again, I'm getting a lot of them. I'm, I'm racking up on these. I'm getting a couple stacks of these things. Next I have my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. And I got this from Target, and this was about $3. Absolutely did love this stuff. I used it after I'm finished with my foundation to make my foundation look a little bit more natural because, you know, after you powder it, it looks very cakey, and this would definitely help it so it wouldn't look like that. I used it before my makeup foundation as well to hydrate my face. I wouldn't say this sets your makeup. I would say it definitely hydrates your face. I would definitely repurchase this, and when I do, I will get a couple more of these. Love Next this Next, I have two MAC lipsticks right here. The first one that I'm going to talk about is called Touch, and it's a luster finish. I'm going to try to see if you guys can see it. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is a pinky brown. It's a great nude for dark skin tones and women of my color. I would recommend this because I used this like the whole summer and it was just beautiful. Last summer I used it all, all the time, every single day. It's so nice. It's very moisturizing because it's a luster finish. It's beautiful. I love this. I would recommend this to all my brown girls out there. And then I have Gleam. I think it's called Gleam or Glare. And it's a glaze. It's like a mauve purpley glaze. It's, it's just used for toppers. I would just use this in the middle of my lips or to top another lipstick. And it would add a pearlized finish to it. If you don't like pearls or metallic finished lipsticks, I wouldn't recommend it. But it was good while it lasted. I don't know. I wouldn't repurchase it because I don't care for pearly looking lipsticks. I just don't care for it. So I wouldn't repurchase it. Last but not least, I have my Studio Fix Powder in nw45 and it's empty guys see it's gone i got this during the summertime and it's very orangey red and i guess that's why i had it during the summertime because i do get a tad bit darker in the summertime but i like this to set my makeup in place and it left my makeup have a matte finish and it made my makeup last a long time. I would say 10 to more hours this would make my face matte and I love that feeling of using this and it completely mattifying my makeup. I would recommend this and I would repurchase this. Okay guys, I'm finished with my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what videos you wanna see next. I'll see you in the next one.